Well, hello there. My name is Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. I thought we would uh, take a moment, go over your inspection report, but before we get started, let me show you how these reports read out, and then we'll dive right into yours. So stay with me. Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey, Catherine. Uh, great to see folks out at the uh, out at the house today. What a beautiful house! Great location. Hey, let's take a moment. Let's go over this uh, chimney inspection, if we may. Let's see. Let's look inside. So we've got a working set of uh, vented gas logs. They work off a of remote. These are Peterson logs. Came from hearth and patio. Beautiful set of logs. Uh, has a proper damper block here for it. Uh, here's a view of the smoke chamber area. Uh, up on top, we can see it's got a new chimney cap, a new crown. Look at how beautiful that is. Scanning the flue system, uh, we notice that the uh, flue joints look nice and tight in here. These are cemented there. These are all cemented in flue joints here, so it looks very good. Now, my understanding is that your client's wanting to switch from gas to wood. I see no problem with that. Just make 100% sure that you get a plumber involved, licensed plumber, to come in and uninstall the gas line, which is under pressure. So we don't want any gas under pressure in the firebox area, the area you'd be setting the firewood. But other than that, you can continue with the gas logs, which are beautiful, or you can burn wood in that fireplace. Questions for me, give me a call, 704. 526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesuite.com.